Steinecker Reservoir is a great little reservoir just north of Vernal, Utah along Highway 191. Uh, it sits at an elevation of 5,300 feet. It's about 823 acres, a little over two miles long. Steinecker Reservoir has a state park on the west side, which includes a boat ramp and campground. As far as fish that are available in Steinecker, there's rainbow trout, brown trout, largemouth bass, bluegill, and green sunfish. As you can see, it's a beautiful late spring, early summer day at Steinecker today, and uh, not a lot of wind, water's flat, couldn't ask for too much better conditions than that. One of the most productive and popular methods of fishing along the shore is with bait. Here I'll show you a power bait setup that I like to use. The power bait that I use floats and so the setup that I like to use is a small treble hook size uh, 14 or 16. I uh, put a leader of about 18 to 20 inches down to a swivel, a plastic bead, and a small egg sinker. Makes a real good setup to get the bait to float above the weeds that are out in the lake so that the trout can see it easily. Remove the safety seal and stick it in your pocket. As you can see, watch this again, as you get your power bait ready to go, it's very simple. Anyway, take your garbage, stick it in your pocket and take it out with you. Now you take the dough and you mold it around the hook, just, just barely enough dough to cover the hook. Then one thing that's really important after you get the dough wrapped around the hook, it's important to set it in the cold water and that sets it uh, onto the hook so that it doesn't come off real easily when you cast. Now if you're in a good location, it shouldn't take too long before you get some action on the power bait. Uh, as it happened to be, the Division of Wildlife had just planted a whole bunch of, of trout in the uh, 8 to 11 inch range and they were prolific along the shoreline. Another thing you can see about using power bait is the damage to the fish. One reason why I don't use bait a whole lot. If I'm going to release my fish, I like them to be healthy. Uh, power bait doesn't just catch little fish. Uh, this is about an 18 inch rainbow trout that are fairly common at, at uh, Steinecker. When I fish Steinecker, a lot of times I like to let my fish go. And so I caught a few fish on the power bait, but then I switched over to lures. And uh, lures are very productive as well. As you can see, I caught another planter-sized rainbow on a spinner. The spinner happens to be a Blue Fox Vibrex spinner in Fire Tiger color. Uh, Meps, Panther Martin, Rooster Tail, all are very popular here. Another lure you can try are the ever popular Jake Spinna lures in gold or silver. Uh, maybe even try some of the newer colors in white and chartreuse or black. They work really well. Jake spin lures aren't the only spoons that you can try. Here I'm throwing a rainbow colored daredevil along the shore. And it worked just fantastic. The fish are active and, and willing to hit lures and bait, whatever you want to throw out there, but just experiment until you find what the fish are willing to hit. Another setup I like to use is the classic uh, spinning rod fly. Here I have a green woolly bugger set up on a uh, long spinning rod. It's basically a fly rod blank 
It's about seven feet long, but instead of using a, a bubble, I'll put two BB size split shot about 16 inches ahead of the fly, and I can cast that and work my lure a little deeper and a little faster than I can with a bubble. And so you might try that next time you're using the fly on a lake. Other colors of woolly buggers you might try are black, uh, white, red, purple. I've had good luck on all of those. Now switching gear, uh, we've moved to my friend's boat out on the lake and we're trying for some bluegill. Bluegill fishing at Steinecker can be fantastic. They have a lot of bluegills in the seven to nine inch range, a good size class. And uh, as you can see, they're quite willing to hit. All we were doing this day was dropping the bait down about seven to eight feet below the boat with a jig. But I like using the little ice fishing jigs uh, for the bluegill. We were in about 15 to 20 feet of water and going about halfway down, which is oftentimes where the bluegills are uh, after they get done spawning. Occasionally you'll catch a rogue largemouth doing the same thing. My son even got a couple of rainbows doing the same thing. But the bluegill fishing is fun and fantastic. Through the late spring and summer, after the bluegills get done spawning, this, this method can be really good. There's also some sizable green sunfish in this lake. As you can see here, this is a green sunfish. It looks a lot like a bluegill, but if you look at it closely, the fins are different. They're orange, and the mouth is a little bit larger than a bluegill. There's a tag. These tags are for uh, a contest at Steinecker. I've got bluegills. I've got bluegills and rainbow trout tagged with these uh, little yellow tags. And then at the end of summer, uh, they have a drawing where people can go get lots of great prizes. And uh, virtually everybody, I think everybody who has a tag gets a prize for sure. So, kind of fun. And the bluegills and green sunfish are an excellent fish to harvest. And so feel free to keep as many as you want up to the limit of 50.